The current situation in Goma and the surrounding is calm for now, but it is still rather tense. Uh, just yesterday morning, uh, the residents of Goma were woken up by uh, gunfire and detonations which took place just north of the city. The current situation in the South Kivus is also very tense with a lot of uncertainties about what is going on and what is taking place and how some of the uh, activities in the north might influence them. Well, currently, humanitarian needs are care for the wounded and assistance to the displaced people. In uh, Goma, we have a uh, surgical team who is performing, as I'm speaking, their 30th uh, surgical in intervention. Uh, and they're doing so with very limited means. We're also providing water to uh, camps for the displaced people and also to uh, centers for, uh, for children where a lot of people have gathered to escape from the fighting. There's a lack of, um, of resources, especially with water, and we're trying to provide the water. We've been distributing in the last eight days over 490,000 liters of water to different sites throughout Goma. One of our teams right now is providing assistance to the women and children of soldiers from the Congolese Armed Forces who have either been injured in battle or deceased or have had to leave uh, the city of Goma, leaving behind their families inside the city of Goma and the families fending from themselves. These families have regrouped in schools or in uh, churches and are lacking the basic necessities in order to survive and provide food for their families. And so our, our teams are there to provide the basic uh, assistance for them uh, to, uh, to survive the current situation.